the potential global threat that I'll be talking about will most likely be the topic of many of you as well. It seems that it is the only thing we have been hearing about for the past two weeks, and it is at the height of conflict. This threat is, of course, the fighting between Ukraine and Russia. This war arose from the tension between the two countries in two, since 2014. I will be talking about the effects of the war and the potential actions that should be taken by other countries as well as the actions that have already been taken. First, I will be talking about the causes of this war and the intentions of both countries. I'm sure most of you have a good understanding of the conflict now because of the news articles and social media posts that have been flooding the internet. The conflict originated after Russia annexed Crimea from Ukraine. This was because the formerly Soviet-owned Crimea had Russian troops within the peninsula to ensure proper conditions for the people of Crimea to be able to freely express their will, in quotation marks. The Russian soldiers in Ukrainian land were a huge source of tension and were partially and partially led to the annexation, which came as a surprise to many national leaders. Ukraine had been making efforts to increase their reputation among European nations after their installation of a new president after the revolution in 2014. They joined the European Union on June 27, 2014. These advancements from Ukraine worried Russia as they seemed to be getting surrounded by powers that were allied with each other with Japan and South Korea to their east, and the, almost the entirety of Europe to the west. Russia does not want Ukraine to join NATO, as they would then have all the backing necessary to hold legitimate power, political power against Russia. This is Russia's main reason for invading Ukraine. The, Russia invade, the Russian invasion began on February 21st, after having troops stationed in the pro-Russian territories in eastern Ukraine. They headed towards capital city, Kyiv, in an attempt to overthrow the entire Ukrainian government in order to regain Ukrainian territory. So far, there has been many events that involve bombs being dropped in places that have a high concentration of civilians, as well as other de deaths and damages to innocent people. This has brought a lot of attention to Russian President Vladimir Putin, as he originally stated that the soldiers were stationed to keep the peace and that he did not want to invade Ukraine. This was backed by soldiers stating that they were in Crimea for military exercises, not for war. However, this obviously was not the case, as we have seen, and this invasion led to, the, to future insight of Putin's plans. Mm -hmm. It seems almost surreal that an event like this is happening today in our lifetimes, as there has not been such a conflict in many years, at least, was not, <clears throat> at, least with, at, at least not with this much gravity, sorry. The effects of this war are plain to see with the videos and images that are being shared directly from Ukraine with the technology today. The suffering of the civilians is truly heartbreaking, and there is, there is no official number of Ukrainian deaths, however. But the Ukrainian president has given updates and estimates of the death toll, and so far that toll is around 200, with over 1,000 more being injured. Some estimates are tens of thousands of people killed. These numbers are sure to arise within the coming days or weeks even, and it is unsure how long this fight will last. Russia is taking large blows, however, as more and more nations are taking actions against Russia to show they do not support their involvement in this war. For example, the United States, the European Union, and the United Kingdom have imposed sanctions against certain banks that are popular in Russia. And what this does is it greatly decreases the value of Russian currency, which is called ruble. Other countries like Japan and Australia are imposing other sanctions in hopes to hurt the economy of Russia. So far, Russia has suffered huge losses of revenue and imported goods. Their stock market is tanking and the Russian currency holds far less value than it did only two weeks ago. Basically, these sanctions that are being imposed are in efforts to make Russia completely independent from outside help, like imported goods and other economic processes. This also refers to the oil that is being supplied to Russia, as many countries have halted the pipelines that produce Russia with their oil. <clears throat> this would hopefully push Russia past a point of economic suffering that they would be forced to leave Ukraine to save themselves. And overall, there have been clear actions from other countries to show their disapproval of this invasion. And let's talk about some potential actions and if they would cause more good than harm in this conflict, as well as actions that have already been taken. NATO, along with countries like the U.S. and Canada, have sent troops over to Ukraine in order to help the fight against Russian forces. Vladimir Putin released a statement that made it clear that if any nation other than Ukraine were to join the fight, they would see 
consequences greater than any have ever faced in history. Considering that Russia is one of the world's leading nuclear weapon holders, his claims may hold some promise. And in my personal opinion, I think that there should not be a sudden influx of soldiers sent to Ukraine to help beat Russia. I think that if there were to be a large amounts of help, then Putin may shift his targets to other countries and cause more damage than would be good helping Ukraine. It is unsure what would really happen, but should we push it to find out? I think that countries should keep imposing sanctions to damage the economy of Russia to the point of collapse. I think that will be our best bet of success in helping Ukraine. What is happening between these countries is truly horrific, and soldiers on both sides do not want this war to continue. Until there is a solution, we can only watch and hope for the best. Thank you.